Hi there folks, this is Tim with a video showing the Thrustmaster T16000M FCS HOTAS stick. Now if you have watched my um, previous videos on controllers, you might know that I actually use a T16000M for my right hand already, and with my left hand I've been using a Thrustmaster Warthog throttle. Um, so I thought I would uh, get hold of one of these and uh, a friend managed to get me one a little bit early, I believe. I'm not sure it's actually out yet. And um, managed to get it and I actually think it's a very good quality stick. So here's a look at the outside of the box. You'll notice at the top right on this side, there's actually some uh, pedals that are shown there. They are not in the box, but they're part of their um, ecosystem, basically. Uh, what I find out later though, is that you can use all the Thrustmaster pedals uh, because I did. Um, so that's a look at the box and what you a what you actually have inside is what you can see right there the uh, stick on the right and the throttle on the left. And obviously in the top of the box we have a couple of manuals, one for each thing, one for the throttle, one for the joystick. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, did have to turn it upside down. Alright, so there is the throttle. You can see it just kind of slides back and forth there. Uh, doesn't um, kind of roll back and forth like a lot of uh, throttles do. It's interesting to have a totally different concept to what I've uh, seen before. And it's uh, got its own USB connection. And then the joystick itself, from what I can tell, it's exactly the same as the, uh, the T16000M that you could already buy. I've owned one since, I think, 2014, and it's just started to kind of lose its center. Um, one of the things that a lot of people do, they actually use two 16,000 um, like because this is one of the only joysticks that you can actually make left-handed. The, uh, the bit that sticks out on the left there, you can actually adjust it and have it stick out on the right instead, so it's a, a left-handed joystick. And uh, that's what you end up with out of the box. Okay, so let's have a look at the different uh, buttons and uh, axes and things like that that the uh, sticks and th throttle actually has. Go with the stick first. Like I said, this is exactly the same as an original T16000M. I've got to believe they've just done a little bit of work on, um, you know, reliability and stuff like that, although I haven't had any issues. Um, uh, throttle slider at the back there. That was really the only downside for me with the T16000M is the position of that if you were using that, that as a throttle. Um, but you can see it's got plenty of buttons on the stick itself. There's 12 buttons on the base of the stick. Um, you have uh, forward fire, you have three uh, fire buttons on the top, and then you have the point of view hat on the top. And then moving over to, to the throttle, because this is obviously the new thing, this is the important thing here. And uh, just going to open up the throttle properties window. Okay, so you can see that the throttle slider itself adjusts the Z axis there on the properties window. And on the side here you have a rotating dial and you can see that going up and down on the properties window. And then on the top here you have uh, some buttons. You have the Z rotation left and right there which is that kind of flipping um, like the paddles. And then I was looking around here to see where there might be another axis because I see X and Y rotation there, but couldn't find it. So I uh, just moved on to the buttons. That was button two and three. And then with this here, up and down, you have four and five. And then there you actually have X and Y axis that you can see. And then you have a point of view hat on the top a four-way button 
in the middle there. And then another four-way button at the bottom. And then that's actually button number one down there, the orange button. Now I was kind of looking around still to see what um, where the X and Y rotation were and I noticed that there was a, uh, a socket at the top there. Now I own a pair uh, or a set of racing pedals um, and that's what they look like um, and they have the same connection. Normally that connection plugs into the wheel so I thought why not? I'll try plugging it into the, the throttle and see what happens. And then, lo and behold, when I press with my right and left foot down on the throttle and the brake, I get my X and Y rotation. So, if you already own some Thrustmaster pedals, you can probably just go ahead and use those. Uh, the clutch pedal did not do anything, obviously. Um, so before I come back in with my conclusions in about a minute's time, I'm just going to show you some side-by-side -side footage from Elite Dangerous and Star Citizen. So welcome back. It's time for some conclusions. So um, what do I think about this setup? Well, uh, until now I've been using a Warthog uh, throttle, which is also by Thrustmaster. Um, it's a lot more expensive uh, than uh, this will be, um, but I absolutely adore it. I think it's a fantastic uh, throttle. The only reason that I haven't been using the Warthog stick that comes with this is because it does not have this uh, twist axis that I use for uh, ship control in space games. So um, that's why I've been using a T16000M and a Warthog throttle. A lot of people use two T16000Ms because like I said earlier you can, you can swap this over here, swap this over here and then turn this around and that makes this a left handed stick. They actually provide the bits for you to do that so that's they actually support that. Um, so a lot of people use two of these um, and that is a quality setup that you can do. but. This is the new item, isn't it? You know, this is the new thing. This is the thing that you really want to know whether it's worth it or not. And the only the only thing that I can't comment on is um, build quality, how long it's going to last, etc. But the the old T sixteen thousand M that I've been using, which you can see is full of dust and grime and uh, finger grease and everything. Um, that was from 2014, I think, and I've been using it pretty much solidly ever since. And literally two months ago, it started to uh, kind of lose its calibration, um, started to drift um, kind of left or right a little bit, and I had to add like a 5% or 10% uh, uh, dead zone. I expect a lot from Thrustmaster products, and I do feel that I get a lot from them. And, you know, with this throttle and joystick combination, I don't have an awful lot of negative things to say. I think that it's a very precise controller. You can feel the difference with these controllers versus cheaper joysticks. The only negative that I have about this at all is the fact that it, it doesn't have a lot of kind of friction on my workspace. And I don't know whether that is my workspace and it being a problem. I mean, this is 
a self-made desk. This was the side of another desk that I've used to extend the desk that, that I had. And um, it, it just doesn't have enough friction. You know, if you, you can move the actual base around a lot easier than I would than I would want to and if you actually if if you put kind of pressure on the throttle you know you can really easily pick it up too those are the only negatives that I have um, there are mounting holes in the bottom uh, there's one and so if you wanted to mount it to a, to a surface you could definitely do that what I would do probably because I don't really you know, it, this isn't an area where I have to entertain the public or anything like that. I, I would probably just uh, put a screw in and leave it sticking out a little bit and then just sit these holes on top of it. And then um, that would, you know, if it slid back and forth, it would only slip, uh, slide as far as the actual width of, of the uh, screw hole there. Um, the only other thing that I feel I need to mention is that obviously the T16000M is sold and branded and everything as a left-handed and right-handed stick. Now the throttle itself, I don't totally see how you would do that. The thing I can think of though is that you would invert the axis. And then you could probably get away with using it like this um, and obviously uh, use your thumb as the kind of primary import, on it. you would still have access to these buttons here, um, you know. So that is an issue, poss possibly. That the paddles are actually quite nice to get to, you know. Um, that works actually fairly well. And then you would have this that you could uh, use your little finger for, still the same as I would the other way around. Um, but you kind of you lose this button here. Um, you could probably get to that, but you would probably lose these buttons here if you are using your your right hand on on the throttle. Uh, but yeah, so there we go. I mean, conclusions. As far as I've seen the pricing for this, it seems very reasonable to me. Um, if you have the budget, I would still go with a T16000M and a walk and a Warthog throttle. That would be my uh, recommendation. Uh, but if not, if you are a kind of mid-range pricing person, then this is a very, very good setup. The only downside, like I said, is that you need to, if you have a desk that it slides on, which you might not, if you have a desk that this slides on, like me, then you need to secure it somehow. That's it. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, enjoy. Bye-bye.